Hello everyone, this is Mr. G Unit. Just got done at work. So over the weekend, we went, my friends and I, Took a nice ride up north to Lake Berryessa. Not for the lake itself, but for the t the road on the way there. Had some good, nice twisties and lots of fun. Good fun time. Six bikes with one chaser car that had all the had all our junk, food, you know, all that stuff. So, if you can see, this is my Ninja 250. So, after talking with my friends and stuff, look at that frame slider. Uh huh. That one is actually, I guess, supposed to go on that side. But, Seemed like everyone on, you know, the YouTube stuff said that the longer one went on the right side for the position of the exhaust. But, I don't know. So, probably going to switch it over. Maybe they'll look more even. So, also a, a slight response to that vlog about buying a motorcycle. I sort of bought new, but this bike was used. It had 200 miles on it when I bought it, so, which was barely anything, it had no plates, and the dealership the motorcycle store that I went to said that it was probably a a repo bike but they weren't sure so after I crashed I still had no plates on it I put replaced the sides and I threw on this slip-on exhaust which is great I love it Here we go. Um, I did do a bad clutch shift. I downshifted during this curve so my back tire did skid out a little bit. Freaked the guy uh, behind me. He was like, oh, you got really close to the edge. So. You learn. I should have kept the the drift on during the twisties on the helmet but I didn't I should have it was on the the tank of the R6 that was a very very shaky bumpy ride it would have been better on my head next time we're already planning another ride probably to Santa Cruz or something So, buying a motorcycle, um, depending on what you want to buy, don't go out and buy your dream bike right away. That's probably, because you know you're going to drop your first bike. It's, it's inevitable. 
and it's just gonna happen. You just have to face that. So the Ninja 250, I like it. It's great first bike that I needed. Um, not sure if it'll be. I, I'm pretty sure it won't be my last bike. Um, I was glad I bought this one. My friend bought his R6, and that was for a new rider. Too big of a bike. To jump to, you know, a new rider to jump to a 600 bike is not a good idea. Not recommended. My friend, he just had his, he's had his bike for a month. His 2011 Ninja 250 for a month. And he's put, you know, a thousand miles on it already. And great beginner bike. Does everything he needs. We kept up, you know, fine with the, the, the group. We kept everyone fairly tight. It was a good group. And he was happy with buying that bike. He knows that he's going to go bigger in the future. And then this bike, he can pass down to his fiance. And he already has that planned out. So buying a new bike for his, in his position was fine. And he put enough miles on it to break it in. He kept it, he broke it in quickly, you know, but he kept it under five, 5,000 RPMs, which surprises me. I don't know how one can do that. Um, boy, if you heard that, that's the gun range behind Lake Merced. Pretty cool.